Hey ho, Freedom Fighters! The new Premium War Bond has already dropped and Helldivers are already grinding their medals to get those new gear. But today, I'll be showcasing the new Plasma Shotgun and we'll find out if it's worth their super credits and medals or if it's just mid. Let's get right to it. So this is the weapon that we're talking about, the SG-8P Punisher Plasma. So it's basically the Punisher Shotgun just modified into firing exploding plasma rounds. It's a damage of 100. 8 in the mag and is a recoil of 110 and basically the same fire rate as your standard shotguns. Well, as I'm running away from these guys, uh, quick review of the gun. It's semi-automatic since it's a pump action shotgun, but the way it fires is different as it lobs rather than your standard hit scan. It's also an explosive payload so effectively it's a miniature grenade launcher. It only has light armor piercing and its reload is magazine based unlike your standard shell by shell like your standard shotguns, the slugger and the standard punisher. It's very fun to use while being very viable to your builds. The downside is also its upside. Since it's an explosive payload you can injure yourself or even possibly kill yourself. For automatons, it's really effective. Against the scout striders, you only need one shot to hit, to hit and it kills them. The rank and file grunt bots, you don't even have to hit them. You just aim for the ground and you'll destroy them. For the berserkers and devastators, you really can't crit on them since it fires like a grenade launcher, so it takes at least four good hits to take one down. For the hulks, well, you also can't really crit their eyes in the front, but four good hits from the back blows it up. It's really annoying, especially when your target is far away, so you'll need to do some geometry calculating in order for your shots to hit. But from close to medium engagement, it's pretty powerful. Overall, against automatons, it is viable, but it does take a certain amount of skill and awareness. For the Terminids, against them, I had way more fun with this, even though you would think that you might kill yourself more often since most of the bugs are melee, but with a little spacing, you could make it work. It deals really good damage against mediums, especially the spewers, which in my opinion is one of the most annoying bugs right now, especially after the patch. 4 or 5 hits of them, push them down. Same goes for the Brood Commanders, Stalkers, and Hive Guards. It takes at least 4 to 5 hits to kill them. But if they're clumped together, you can lessen it since the area of effect damage is kind of large for a primary. The most fun thing that I've done with this gun is bully chargers. You could take down chargers with just this primary right here. Since it's an AoE and they haven't patched the weekend after charge a bit, you could just spam the feet area and let the AoE do the work. For Biles, unfortunately, it functions like any other primary weapon and does nothing significant. And that's it. I hope you could gauge for yourself if it's worth your time to grind or worth your super credits as well. For me, I think it's worth since it's a fun weapon to use and it can fit into some gimmicky builds to mess around with. So what do you think? Is it worth or not? Let me know in the comments down below. And with that said, I'll see you next time. Till then, keep spreading freedom, Helldiver.